Dear colleagues, what I mean by right rexis is the size of the rexis should be such that the periphery of the optic of the intraocular lens should be nicely covered all around by the anterior capsular rim. In this case, I have tried to do a right rexis. By this time, the main incision has been made, the scholastic substance has been injected into the antechamber, and this is a side port on the left side of the main incision, and I'm going to make only one side port in this case. And now, the anterior capsule is incised with a 26 case pen needle and a large capsular flap is raised. Now I take a Utata forceps, hold this capsular tag, go anticlockwise and I make a rexis a continuous curvilinear capsular axis of a right size. Now, hydro dissection and hydro delineation is done. This is hydro dissection and this is hydro delineation. Now, the nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is rotated. Since this is a cataract of grade 2 plus or grade 3 nuclear sclerosis, chopping this nucleus is very easy. You just have to hold the nucleus with high vacuum and chop it. The chopper in my li left hand is just a modification of a Sinsky hook. It's a chopper that has been designed by me and has been manufactured by a local manufacturer. This is how beautifully I can chop the nucleus and the free nuclear fragments are emulsified and removed. FACO power used in this case is 60%, fluoride is 45 a vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. This is Oatley Caterix 3 vacuum machine from Switzerland. That's it. The nucleus and epinucleus has been removed. Now some cortex is there. What I do is I inject some viscoelastic substance at this moment. And now I take a 23G Simco cannula and remove this cortex. Since I have made only one side port, I have decided already to use this instrument and not by manual. Now I go through the side port and remove the cortex from 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock. So the cortex has been removed. Now some polishing of the posterior capsule is done by irrigating probe irrigating fluid dislodges the cells sticking to the posterior capsule. Now a hydro phobic acrylic intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag. Whatever viscoelastic substance was there in the lumen of the cartridge is removed by irrigation. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. Now I hydrate the side port so that this stab wound becomes watertight. 
Hello. This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. Whatever viscoelastic substance sticks to the corneal endothelium is irrigated out at this time. That's it. And now the antechamber is formed and the case is concluded. Dear colleagues, we must develop our surgical skills every day, every month, every year. We must improve our surgical skills and give the best service that we can to the humankind.